This is Chris Madeo. Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Madeo. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my AEW Dynamite January 4th. 2023 reviews so here we go discussing about AEW dynamite for tonight now uh they got a new set and all that stuff uh we don't got the tunnels or whatever no more for the fake baby faces or the heels it's like the regular set like a like smackdown from like 2016 and stuff like that kind of set you know so yeah um they got a new set and all that and now they got the same theme song and stuff like that but different intro uh so yeah but then we kick off Dynamite with the first match of the night. It was Chris Jericho with Matt Menard and Angelo Parker, the Jericho Appreciation Society versus Ricky Starks 101. So yeah, Ricky Starks versus Chris Jericho 101. And it was a pretty good match. It's the first time ever that they faced off 101. But yeah, like I said, really good match. At one point, we see Jericho hit the code breaker onto uh, Ricky Starks. He waited for him to get back up, so he was trying to hit the Judas effect. But uh Ricky Starks, you know, ducks underneath and grabs him, trying to hit the Rochambeau onto uh, Jericho, but Jericho lands on his feet, and then he locks on the walls of Jericho onto Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks trying to fight out of it, uh, but he's having no, he couldn't fight out of it, really, so he starts crawling to the ropes, and uh, we see Angela Parker distracting the referee on one side of the ring. Ricky Starks finally grabs the ropes, but as soon as he grabs the ropes, Matt Menard hits Ricky Starks in the face with the baseball bat. Jericho drags Ricky Starks back into the middle of the ring with the uh, walls of Jericho still locked on. The referee goes and checks on Starks. Starks dropping his hand for the three times. Drops his hand once and then twice. And he was they was about to drop it down for the third time. But Ricky Starks still fighting and stuff. Uh, he finally managed to fight out the walls of Jericho. Rolling Jericho up for like a inside cradle. But Jericho barely kicking out at two. Uh, both of them going back at it um, again with each other. Uh, Starks finally hits that tornado DT onto Jericho, and then Matt Menard and Angelo Parker gets on the apron. Both of them gets knocked off the apron, and then Ricky Starks goes runs to the ropes and comes back with a spear onto Jericho, pinning him for the three count. So yeah, Ricky Starks defeated Chris Jericho tonight on Dynamite. That's what happened. Really good match though. Uh, but then after the match ended. We see Jericho and uh, Angelo Parker and Matt Menard attacking Ricky Starks after the match, beating him down and stuff. And then we see Action Andretti coming running down with a steel chair, attacking them with the chair. And then we see the rest of the Jericho Appreciation Society, Jake Hager, Sammy Guevara, and Daniel Garcia and stuff coming down. They all getting beat down with steel chairs by Action Andretti. Uh, they actually came down before he did actually so yeah they always get beat down with steel chairs and all that stuff and then all of a sudden we see Anna J come up grabbing the steel chair out of Action Andretti's hands and then Ty Mello coming up hitting a low blow onto Action and then of course the number starts catching up they start beating down Ricky Stark's hand and Action and then uh they set up a table at ringside and then we see Jake Hager on the ring apron grabbing Ricky Starks power bombing him off the ring apron through a table laying about so yeah that's what happened really good start for Dynamite for that match I'll give it uh I'll give it three stars that's why I'll give it really good match to kick off Dynamite so yeah uh but yeah still to come later on tonight we will see the Acclaim defending the AEW World Tag Team Championships against Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett tonight not only that in the main event they got Samoa Joe defending the TNT Championship up against Darby Allen one on one, but next we're gonna be hearing from Hangman Adam Page up next. So yeah, Adam Page will be up next on Dynamite. We're gonna be hearing from him. So yeah, see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a update about Hangman Adam Page. So yeah, here we go. Tony Schiavone was in the ring. He introduces Hangman Adam Page. Adam Page comes up and he gives an update about his condition or whatever about the concussion and he tells everybody that he is not able to return into the ring so yeah that's what he said and then he starts talking about John Moxley how uh the doctor said if he keeps on fighting John Moxley every single week that is going to keep on getting pushed back a week and all that stuff so yeah that's what I Adam Page was saying and um uh, then he said that uh next week at 
the firm or whatever, um, you know, he'll probably deal with John Moxley or whatever. He should possibly be cleared by next week or whatever. So, yeah, that's what Adam Page was saying. And then he said that he's going to uh, put John Moxley's dick into the dirt. Uh, so, yeah, that's what he said. And then John Moxley comes out interrupting Adam Page. And then he was trying to talk. But then the mic kept on acting up on him. So, yeah, it kept on cutting out on him, which was pretty funny. So, yeah, John Moxley started getting pissed off about the mic cutting out on him and all that, which was pretty funny. I'm not even going to lie. And it seems like every time when John Moxley grabs the mic, it always cuts out on him, which is always funny, you know. But, yeah, uh, Moxley starts going off on Adam Page. Talking about, oh, so you pissed off at me because I knocked you out or whatever. Adam Page was like, no, I'm not mad at you because you knocked me out. I got knocked out several times before by strangers and a lot of other people. I'm mad because you made a joke about me, some stuff like that, and... You know, that he says that after he gets cleared, he's going to go after John Moxley. And, you know, John Moxley gets pissed off and walks out the ring. So, yeah, that's what happened there. That's that's the segment right there. Uh, but, yeah. But then they showed a video package about Samoa Joe and Darby Allen, which was pretty okay. And, yeah, they'll be in the main event tonight uh, going against each other for the TNT Championship. But up next, we're going to be seeing... Uh, the acclaimed defending their AEW World Tag Team Championships against Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett up next in the tag team match. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a tag team match. It was the AEW World Tag Team Champions, Anthony Bowens and Max Caster, the acclaimed with Billy Gunn at ringside versus... Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal with Satnam Singh and Sanjay Dutt at ringside in a tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. In this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. Uh, Billy Gunn got kicked out of ringside at one point. And then we get to one point where we see Satnam Singh getting kicked out of ringside. A bunch of referees had come down there. Pretty much tell him to leave and all that stuff. But he wouldn't leave. And while all that commotion was going down and the actual referee that was inside the ring was telling Satnam Singh to go away, uh, we see uh, we see Jay Lethal try to hit the lethal injection at one point onto Anthony Bones, but he gets hit in the back of the head with a forearm. And then that's when uh, Jeff Jarrett hits a stroke onto Anthony Bones, pins him, uh, the referee comes in and counts, one, two, Anthony Bones puts his foot on the ropes, but Sanjay Dutt pushes his foot back off the ropes, and they got the three count. So, yeah, and then the bell rung, and it looked like that Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal has became the new AEW World Tag Team Champions, up until Aubrey Edwards comes up telling the referee about what happened that Sanjay Dutt pushes, that pushed out Anthony Bones' foot off the ring ropes, and they restarted the match. And then we see Max Catcher getting involved and all that stuff. And Anthony Bowens laying a super kick onto Jeff Jarrett, laying him out. And then Jay Lethal was trying to roll up Anthony Bowens for the three count. But Anthony Bowens rolled back through, uh, pinning him for the three count. So, yeah, the acclaimed defeated Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett tonight in the tag team match. And has retained the AEW World Tag Team Championships. That's what happened. Pretty good match. And uh, I forgot to mention before the match even happened, uh, Max Caster had a great rap about Dixie Carter and stuff. Oh, yeah, and during this match, he was doing some of Kurt Angle's moves, hitting <laughs> the Angle Slam, and doing Kurt Angle's dance and all that stuff that he did, and uh, blocking all the ankle lock during this match, which was pretty funny, you know. So, yeah, uh, Max Caster did some of that stuff. But, yeah, like I said, pretty good tag team match. For this match, I'll give it three stars. That's why I'll give it. Pretty good match. But still to come later on tonight, Samoa Joe will be defending the TNT Championship up against Darby Allen later on tonight in the main event. But yeah, that's it later on tonight. But then we get to the next segment where we see Tony Schiavone interviewing the AEW Women's Champion, Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker. And Britt Baker was talking about Soraya and all that stuff and how, um, you know, Jamie Hayter is a champion. She's the pillar and all that stuff. And that they got a tag team match next week with Soraya having a mystery tag team partner. So, yeah, that match will be happening next week. But, yeah, see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Dynamite. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite. Now, before I talk about Brian Daniels' match, we got to talk about one segment. So, we see Jungle Boy, and he says that he didn't know that he was going to ever trust anybody ever again. But he found one person that he could trust, and he could trust Hook. 
because him and Hook are challenging Big Bill and Lee Moriarty into a match. So yeah, that's what Jungle Boy said. But then we get to the next match of the night. It was Brian Danielson versus Tony Nese one one, and it was a pretty good match. Uh, Tony Nese actually almost picked up the win at one point when he had Brian Danielson sitting at that turnbuckle and he has knee to the face onto him. Pins him one two. Brian barely kicking out two. And then Danielson starts coming back a little bit. And Tony Nese starts taking control again there in this match. But then he gets Brian Danielson set it back up into that corner. Tries to hit that knee again. Danielson moves out of the way. Nice hits his knee onto the turnbuckles and the ropes. Uh, hurting his leg. He turns around. And then he gets hit with the psycho knee by Brian Danielson. And then Danielson starts laying in the stumps to the face onto Tony Nice. And then instead of locking on the label lock, he locks on the wriggle stretch. Uh, pretty much, Tony Nese was already knocked out, so he locked on the submission, and Brian Danielson won the match. So yeah, Brian Danielson defeated Tony Nese tonight on AEW Dynamite. That's what happened for that match. I'll give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was pretty quick, and it was pretty good at the same time. So yeah, that's why I'll get the match. But then, after the match ended, Brian Danielson grabs the mic and calls out MJF. Um, so yeah, the AEW World Heavyweight Champion MJF comes walking out, but he stays on top of the ramp on the stage, and uh, he starts laying in some jokes about Brian Danielson's mom and all that stuff, human shooters, and uh, you know Danielson starts doing the same thing, laying in some jokes on MJF and stuff, and then Danielson was like, um, "Okay, now instead of laying in these jokes." I'm just going to go up there and beat your ass because I'm tired of you. And then Danielson starts stepping out the ring. And MJF quickly runs up to the announce table. He goes like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now let's go ahead and talk about this and all that stuff. And Danielson pretty much wants a match against MJF for the world title. And uh, MJF was like, look, if you want a match against me for the world title, you got to do a few things. Now I can pull with some stuff because pretty much Tony Khan and um, all of them is not the owners of this company. I clearly am. Uh, and then MJF was like, how about this? So, yeah. And uh, MJF was like, hey, well, if you want a world title match, you got to face against a person every single week and not, and not lose against anybody during those matches all the way up until February 8th to become number one contender for the world title. And I... Uh, Brian Danielson was like, how about this? I'll just face you, beat you, and then become number one contender and beat you again for the world title or whatever. And MJF was like, no, it's either my way or no title match. So, yeah, that's what MJF said. And Danielson was like, okay, fine. Well, how about this? I will accept your little challenge if you let me pick the stipulation for the match. Um, and MJF was like, okay, cool. You know what? I'll allow you to pick the stipulation of the match if you can beat everybody else. And Brian Danielson was like, okay, how about this? Uh, me and you won one for the world title in a one hour Iron Man match. And MJF pretty much didn't want to do it. He goes like, well, you know what? It's okay because you're not going to last against the per the first week of the challenge. And Brian Danielson was like, okay, watch. Well, after I beat every single bite, I'm going to stump your head in the ground once I get to you and win the world title. So, yeah. That's what Brian Danielson was saying. It was pretty good promos from them back and forth and all that stuff. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. But, yeah, uh, up next, we'll be seeing Swerve Strickland versus AR Fox 101 up next on Dynamite. So, yeah, that match will be happening up next. But, yeah, see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Swerve Strickland with um, Parker Budo and Tom McDonald versus... AR Fox in a one-on-one -on -one match now. It was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. But we get to the ending where Tom McDonald's distracting the referee. Uh, Swerve, AR Fox is taking control of this match. He's on the top turnbuckle with Swerve Strickland. Uh, and then we see Parker Bordeaux give Swerve Strickland something. Swerve used that weapon or whatever onto AR Fox. Uh, helps him up onto his shoulders on the top turnbuckle. And jumps up with the Death Valley driver onto AR Fox on the ring apron. And then he throws AR Fox back into the ring. Uh, Swerve Strickland climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with the double foot stump onto AR Fox. The kill shot onto him and then pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Swerve Strickland defeat AR Fox tonight on Dynamite. That's what happened for that match. I'll give it two and a half stars. And that's what I'll give it. 
But yeah, that's what happened there. And then after the match ended, we see a uh, interview going on backstage with Renee Paquette interviewing Soraya, uh, Tony Storm, and Hikaru Shida backstage. And Soraya was talking about how she seen what Tony, uh, what Britt Baker had to say and all that. How Britt Baker wants to be a gatekeeper of the AR, uh, AEW Women's Division. But we got a tag team match next week where she'll be taking, where she'll be teaming up with Jamie Hayter to take on Soraya and a mystery partner, and Soraya reveals her mystery partner to be Tony Storm, so yeah, Tony Storm's her tag team partner, everybody was like, it was going to be Sasha Banks, but it ain't, uh, but yeah, Tony Storm's her tag team partner, and Hikaru Shida looked upset about that, so yeah, maybe we're going to be seeing Hikaru Shida actually turning heel soon, but yeah, that's what it looks like it's going to be building up to, but then after that, we see Austin and Colton Gunn, the guns, come out, and they was holding a funeral for FTR, which they had on the big screen saying FTR IP. So, yeah, that's what they had, and they had, like, the pictures or whatever. Talking about they have a crappy uh, podcast and all that, how they lost the IWGP tag team titles last night at Wrestle Kingdom. And, yeah, they was just talking crap about FTR and how they are the best tag team in AEW and FTR is it no more and then all of a sudden as soon as they stop talking crap uh we see FTR's theme song play and they was acting scary like uh they was going to come out but then FTR obviously didn't came out because they still were in Japan and stuff and uh the guy was just laughing and stuff so like yeah y'all thought they was going to come out but they're not and then they kicked down the pictures and all that and yeah that's what happened there but, yep, up next we're going to be seeing the women's tag team match up next on Dynamite. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until then. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite was a tag team match. It was the TBS Women's Champion, Jade Cargill, and Red Velvet versus Kira Hogan and um, Sky Blue in a tag team match. Now, Layla Gray was at ringside with Jade Cargill and Red Velvet. But yeah, we get the tag team match on the way, and Red Velvet was getting dominated by uh, Sky Blue and Kira Hogan, and she was getting beat down. But eventually, during this match, Jay Cargill tags herself in, comes into the ring, hitting a big punk kick to the face, onto, um, I mean, hitting a super kick pretty much onto Kira Hogan, and hitting the punk kick onto Sky Blue, which knocked her off the ring apron. And then she goes up to uh, Red Velvet about to tag her in, but Red Velvet jumps off the ring apron. And, um, you know, Jay Cargill was like, what the hell? And then she gets rolled up for the pin by Kira Hogan, but she barely kicks out at two. She gets back up to her feet, hits the punt kick onto Kira Hogan, and pins her for the three count. So, yeah, Jade Cargill and Red Velvet defeated Kira Hogan and Sky Blue tonight in the tag team match. That's what happened. It was an okay tag team match, and, yeah, for that match, I'll give it one and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. But, yep, that's what happened there. Um, and then after that, we see Renee Paquette interviewing, um, Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal, and Jeff Jarrett's upset, he goes like, yeah, our match is a no holds bar, we're gonna beat the acclaim at Battle of the Belts, so yeah, that's what Jeff Jarrett will say, but up next, it'll be a one-on-one match, Darby Allen versus Samoa Joe, one-on-one for the TNT Championship, up next in the main event, so yeah, that match will be happening up next, but yeah, I'll see you guys later, until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one match. It was the main event. It was the TNT and Ring of Honor television champion Samoa Joe versus Darby Allin one-on-one for the TNT championship of the main event for tonight's Dynamite. Now, there was this kid and his mom sitting at ringside with Darby Allin go up and hug him. It was like, a, I think they say he was 17. I don't know. I forgot his name already, but apparently he's training to become a wrestler and all that stuff. And Darby Allen goes up and hugs him and all that stuff and hugs the mom or whatever. And he gets into the ring. Samoa Joe comes out and he goes at the kid, grabbing him and stuff like that. Darby Allen has enough self, enough of Samoa Joe, so he goes up and attacks him outside the ring, doing that torpedo move onto him. Starts beating him down and stuff, grabbing the skateboard, jump, hitting him in the back with the skateboard. And then they go up the ramp and stuff. Uh, Darby Allen grabs the ladder, sets up, he climbs up the ladder and jumps off with a front flip onto Samoa Joe, laying him out. And then they finally get the match underway and all that stuff in the middle of the ring. So, yeah, they're going back and forth and everything in this match. But then we get to the very ending of this match where we see uh, Samoa Joe locking on the Kokita Clutch onto Darby. But Darby fights out of it and all that stuff. And then uh, we see Darby Allen pushes Samoa Joe to the turnbuckle, trying to roll him up for the pin. Samoa Joe grabbing onto the turnbuckle pad. And he rips off the turnbuckle pad 
and he finally falls down getting pinned, but uh, Samoa Joe kicks out too and locks on the cookie to clutch onto Darby. Darby starts trying to fight out of it, and he finally manages to, you know, run Samoa Joe into the exposed turnbuckle face first into it, and then he hits the code red onto him, and then he climbs at the top turnbuckle, jumps off with the uh, coffin drop onto Samoa Joe's back, and then climbs at the top turnbuckle again, jumping off with a second coffin drop onto Samoa Joe, and then pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Darby Allen defeated Samoa Joe tonight, and he is the new TNT champion. That's what happened. Really good match, and then uh, we see Sting coming down there celebrating Darby Allen's win. So yeah, that's what happened there. It was a pretty good match. I'll give the match uh, three stars as well. I'll give it a pretty good match. But uh, yep, that's what happened there. But for match of the night, it will either be that one or Jericho and Ricky Starks. That match was pretty good as well. But yeah, pretty good. Dynamite. I'll give Dynamite seven and a half stars as well. I'll give it. But yeah, that has been my AEW Dynamite January 4th, 2023 reviews. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bagels. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. They'll all be down there in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys later for this Friday's Friday Night Smackdown reviews. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until then.